don't know, boss. What the hell are we doing all the way out here? Guy sounds like a real nut job. Hey, shut your mouth and let me do the talking. Mr. Luther, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Mr. Luther. It's been a long drive, Marvin. This had better be good. Oh, it is. Right over here. It's a meteorite. I can see that, Marvin. You brought me out here for this? For rock? Sir, it may look like another rock or, or a meteorite, but this, well, it's, it's what's inside that's special. Here, let, let me show you. This is the gem. I think it's emitting some sort of energy. I'd like to run more tests. Most things emit energy, Marvin. I thought you'd know this. As for this, it looks just like every other meteor I've seen. It's just green. I specifically told you to contact me only with things of importance. This was a waste of my time. But Mr. Luther, I have the data, the files. This is the same data as the ship excavation. You know who this belongs to. Yes, sir. Bring the rest of it back to the lab immediately. Run your tests. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. just watched Eric Wetman for Lex Luthor 2015, scene one, Kryptonite. I just wanted to take a few moments out real quick here and uh, let everybody know how thankful I am for all of the responses that I've received over the cosplay photos of me as Lex Luthor. Um, I couldn't be more taken aback by all the positive feedback that I've received. Um, all the shares on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, comicbookmovie.com, I just, I really am so thankful for you guys. I know how hard we are as comic book fans on people, and um, I just, I really, I can't say it any other way. I'm just very appreciative of all, all of the responses. Um, I want to take a minute out and thank all the cast and the crew that showed up for this uh, endeavor that we did. We got some local actors. Greg Bronson, amazing actor. Check him out on Facebook. Uh, he's got an amazing body of work. Matt E. Dordovanis, um, just an amazingly talented young man, and uh, Steve Slack, you know, playing the bodyguards. They, uh, I couldn't have done this without them, and I'm just so, I'm so impressed with uh, how they perform and, and how everything went, and I, I'm very pleased to have had this experience. Um, and with that, I, I just want to go real fast into Lex Luthor. Um, I think that all of the actors, Michael Rosenbaum, Gene Hackman, Kevin Spacey, um, that guy who played him on Lois and Clark. I think everybody's done a really great job of representing this character in certain visions. And, you know, we have Smallville uh, Lex Luthor with dad issues, and we have the Kevin Spacey Lex Luthor who's insane, and we have the Gene Hackman Lex Luthor who's cackly, maniacally, and, you know, com comedically delivering the performance. But I don't think that we've yet to see a Lex Luthor who embodies the entire essence of that character. And uh, being a huge fan of comic books and growing up reading them and all the same old, same old, 
Um, I really do think I have an idea of what this character would truly be like in a uh, Zack Snyder grounded Superman film. Um, I'm very impressed by the way this film turned out. I'm very hopeful and very enthusiastic about Ben Affleck as Batman. I know he's receiving a lot of flack about that, but I really think that we're looking at probably one of the best casts uh, for a superhero movie for these characters that we've ever seen. And it would be my honor and it would be a dream come true for me to be able to portray this Lex Luthor. Um, long shot, yes. Still a shot, absolutely. So um, with that in closing, we got a few more things coming for you and uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, just thanks again, everybody. It's It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, thank you so much. Uh, ben Affleck, Zack Snyder, Henry Cavill.